Hello friends, today we'll learn about diphtheria. I see you have an assignment on the topic of diphtheria. Let me explain all about this. German bacteriologist Edwin Klebs and Friedrich Loeffler discovered diphtheria in 1884. Diphtheria is a highly contagious and serious infection caused by the bacteria Cornybacterium diphtheriae. This bacteria is rare because it makes a toxin that kills your cells. It usually spreads through droplets that fly out of your nose or mouth while you cough or sneeze. Diphtheria symptoms usually begin two to five days after a person becomes infected. Let's have a look at the signs and symptoms. A thick gray membrane covering the throat and tonsils. A sore throat and hoarseness. Difficulty breathing or rapid breathing. Fever with chills and nasal discharge. Swollen glands in the neck. There are two types of diphtheria respiratory and cutaneous. Respiratory diphtheria presents as a sore throat with low-grade fever and a membrane attached to the tonsils, pharynx, and nose. Cutaneous diphtheria involves the skin. It may present as a scaling rash or ulcers with clearly demarcated edges and membrane. People who are at an increased risk of catching diphtheria include children and adults who don't have up-to-date vaccinations, people living in contaminated conditions, anyone who travels to an area where diphtheria infections are more common. Now, look at the causes of diphtheria. Airborne droplets. When an infected person sneezes or cough releases a mist of contaminated droplets, people nearby may inhale the bacteria. Contaminated personnel or household items. People sometimes catch diphtheria from handling an infected person's things that may be contaminated with the bacteria. Touching an infected wound also can transfer diphtheria-causing bacteria. Doctors can swab the back of the throat or nose and test it for the bacteria that causes diphtheria. The first step in treating diphtheria is an antitoxin injection. This is used to minimize the effect of the toxins produced by the bacteria. Doctors also prescribe antibiotics to clear the infection. Currently, this syndrome is rare in developed countries. The disease is not only treatable, but also preventable with a vaccine. The vaccine for diphtheria is called DTAP. Most types of diphtheria vaccines protect against diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis. Babies and adults need diphtheria vaccines at different times throughout their lives. Some types of diphtheria develop if there is poor hygiene, so it's highly recommended to maintain good hygiene by regularly washing hands before eating and cooking, and by keeping surroundings clean and tidy. Now you know a lot about diphtheria. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.